So Premiere Pro is starting to suck. So I've been using Premiere Pro since CS4, CS6. There was no such thing as Lumetri color wheel. It was just the three-way color corrector, your little color wheels, and uh, that was that. Premiere Pro and the Adobe Creative Cloud have been the monopoly of the creative industry. They have the biggest contracts with the biggest companies making Adobe Cloud the industry standard across the board, whether it comes to video editing, motion graphics, illustrator, animations, you name it. If you're around around the CS6 days, Premiere was having a one-time fee where you buy the product, you get the product key, and you own Premiere forever. It wasn't until the Creative Cloud when they started turning it into a monthly subscription, which pretty much having a paywall where people have to pay on a monthly basis. If you are an experienced content creator, sure, right? 50 bucks, 70 bucks a month, no problem. But if you wanted to get straight into video editing, you're like, hmm, I might look elsewhere because it's kind of, you know, not worth my investment at this time, which I totally understand. And it's because that they have had this monopoly over the industry for so long, people are willing to pay that dollar on a month to month basis. Whatever they do, we pretty much have to conform because they are the standard. And of course, there are always alternatives like Wondershare. You have things like DaVinci Resolve now, which is completely free. They have a free version where anybody can edit, color grade, and create their own content on that platform alone. And they even have the professional version for you extreme enthusiast when it comes to color grading. And new to the scene is already something that has not been seen before. CapCut, the first free video editing software that you can use on your phone, and now there's a desktop version. Over the years, we have not seen Premiere Pro with a lot of innovation. In my opinion, Premiere has been doing a lot of catching up to the youngsters. Back in the day where there is the, you can turn your sequence into long form, you can have text-to-speech, finally. But things such as CapCut, what makes the average person, the video editor, into your normal person. You can just follow a template, click a couple buttons on your phone, and wow, text-to-speech just is a lot easier on your phone in compared to Premiere Pro and doing that from scratch. Yes, of course, there's Premiere Rush, but with the rise of content creation and the evolution of your short-form content, Premiere is trying to play catch-up to its competitors now, specifically CapCut. I would not be surprised if they actually bought out CapCut. All the things that you can do within CapCut would take forever in Premiere Pro. You're starting to see text-to-speech within CapCut, all these types of cloning effects, syncing to the beat, using templates and editing straight from TikTok into CapCut. You have things like Reels, right? You can just use templates. And you can do that in Premiere too, but it does take a little bit longer. And don't get me even started about crashing, using memory, having projects just suddenly get corrupted, right? We all know how much power Premiere Pro uses. And if you don't have the right tools on top of the monthly subscription, then you're out of luck. Don't get me wrong. I am not completely bashing Adobe and their product. They are the industry standard, and I've been using it since CS6. But I'm starting to see that a lot of people are actually switching from Premiere Pro to Final Cut, and these are the bigger content creators, right? And from things like CapCut and DaVinci Resolve now, and using the Final Cut and how much faster things are rendering, Premiere, in my opinion, it's just trying to play catch up and trying to stay relevant. And if it wasn't for the fact that they pretty much owned all of the creative landscape when it came to video editing, After Effects, any sort of content creation and long form video content, if Premiere starts doing the same thing that it's been doing and not really innovating, who knows how long a new competitor will jump to the scene. But 
To this day, I still use Premiere Pro and After Effects for all my long form editing content, as well as the ability to create my short little content clips. I wanna ask you guys is, hey, do you use Premiere Pro? Are you a fan of the Adobe Cloud? Do you use alternatives? Do you prefer DaVinci Resolve Final Cut much better than Premiere Pro? You guys let me know. If you wanna get serious about content creation and not being behind, I have a full course where you literally learn Premiere Pro by yours truly in under 30 minutes. Link in the description below. Help me help you. And as a content creator, it is definitely interesting times to be a content creator. AI, the rise of short form content where anyone can edit on their phone now and do so many things like removing objects, cloning, text-to-speech. It kind of makes Premiere Pro look a little slower now. But that's just my two cents. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective, where we all serve nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.